All right, everybody. Sorry, it's been a long time since my last video. Uh, I just got back from the AI Dev and Cassandra Summit in San Jose. Uh, really tired, kind of a bit under the weather. Today, I'm going to talk about terminals. Uh, Christian Hergert, over the past month, has been working on a new terminal. Uh, he's been doing work in VTE, GTK, GNOME Shell on performance, latency, and all that kind of technical stuff. I'm not going to be covering that today. There are much uh, more qualified people to do that. What I am going to talk about today is Prompt, his new container-focused terminal. And it has been something that we have needed on the Linux desktop for a long time in order to bring that integration that we need of the container runtime uh, right into our fingertips. So DistroBox and Toolbox, great tools, fancy duct tape. And I've always... Um, advocated for uh, the Linux desktop to get more integration into the container runtimes. Uh, obviously, as part of Project Bluefin and Universal Blue, we believe that the container runtime is a critical part of the Linux desktop. And the more tools that we have uh, to get more people consuming it, uh, the better. So first things first, it's a GTK4 libadweta. Has all of the fancy animations and things you want. Here, I've got some uh, toolboxes here of different distributions. For some reason, every time I always, every time someone's always demos this kind of stuff, they show multiple distribution, even though like nobody really actually uses their computer that way. I always thought that was interesting, um, but it's got all the cool animations and performance and stuff that you're looking for. What I do want to dig into is the preferences and to show you why this is different than a normal terminal. You're going to find your, your light and dark themes and the typical stuff you'd see in a terminal here. I really like that it defaulted to 10,000 lines of scroll back instead of the usual a thousand that it seems that we've been stuck with for way too long. Uh, custom shortcuts all the way down. I really like uh, how detailed those went into. And built-in profiles. This is going to be important for a few reasons. Uh, you know, depending on how you run your projects or how you run your development environment or how you use your computer, having multiple profiles for different things is very useful, especially when you look at this is the feature here that sold me on this terminal is you can specify a default container for a profile. And that could be my computer, which is your host. Uh, so if you just want a fast, faster terminal and you don't care about any of this other stuff, you can just use it that way. But it also takes all your existing distro boxes and toolboxes and iterates through them and then presents them for you. So you can just choose them as your default for each of your profiles. And of course you can have uh, as many profiles as you want. So what this lets me do is when I open my terminal, it just takes me right into my Ubuntu container, uh, which is what I want. Uh, if you don't know, I live in my containers 95% of the time. I don't feel that, you know, now that we've done a lot of work to automate the host, there's no real reason for us to be there. However, it is really nice to have this pin and session memory functionality that it has so that when you do need to do host level things, uh, you could still do it. Uh, here with this terminal. And the way I've got mine set up is when I launch it, it brings me back uh, to the way I left it before. And that's at the fault Ubuntu terminal. I've been playing a little bit with an arch terminal here to, to kind of show you how it works. That's basically it. And the pinned ones show up here at the top. It's really nice. Um, I've switched to this full time. Uh, Bazite and Universal Blue. Um, I, I met up with Kyle Gospo at, um, at the Cassandra Summit. And he showed me prompt running on his Steam Deck, 90 hertz with the black theme on that OLED display. It was as liquidy smooth as you can expect. Um, the performance is great. The latency is great. It feels good uh, when you type. And when you're using uh, real well-made uh, toolboxes, uh, they just go in. It's nice and instant. Um, it's, it's really slick. I love that this little tab here just always has all of your toolboxes available, right? So if you... Um, if you have a setup and you have a bunch and you're always looking for ways to uh, get into them faster and make it more transparent. So you're not typing that dist. I like to create my distro boxes, but you know, managing them every day. I don't like doing that. I like to automate that and tools like this will kind of help hide that from us. Um, check it out. It is not in flat hub yet. Um, but uh, we are in progress of putting this in Bazite and Bluefin as a default terminal. We're just going all in on this workflow and there's already open PRs on that. And I uh, hope you give it a shot. It's really, really great. We spec'd, we called it Project XO about a year ago of what a terminal that just had 
container runtime integration built in would look like. And one day on GNOME GitLab, it just showed up and mostly feature complete out of the box. So hope you check it out and uh, have a great day.